everyone, welcome back. Today we will continue lecture 1-1 on our linear algebra review. Remember, our learning objectives are to review vectors including scalars and dot products, to review matrices, the operations and properties, and finally to review matrix transformations including rotation and translation, which will all prove to be very helpful in our study of advanced mobile robotics. So first, a matrix is a table of values that can have a size of n by m, where n represents the number of rows in the matrix and m represents the number of columns. A vector is a special case of a vector that is p by 1, which means it's a one column matrix. A matrix can also be thought of as made of a column of vectors. For example, here we have an n by m matrix where the first column is highlighted in red, the second column is highlighted in green, and the last column is highlighted in blue. Another way of describing this matrix is the first column would be a star one, the second column would be a star two, and the final column would be a star m. It is also possible to define a matrix as a series of row vectors. In this case, the first row is highlighted in blue, the second row is highlighted in green, and the last row is highlighted in red. So we could describe that first row as A1 star, the second row as A2 star, and the last row as AN star. The transpose of a matrix is when you swap the rows and columns. So the size of the matrix would now be M by N, and you notice that the last element in the first row is now AN1, and the last element in the first column is A1M. You can also multiply a matrix by a scalar value, and by doing this, you do element by element multiplication with the scalar K. So B equals KA means that the first element would be KA11 and the last element would be KANM and so on. In order to add matrices together, they must have the same dimension. And then once again, you would do element by element addition. So if C is equal to A plus B, then the first element would be A11 plus B11, and the final element would be ANM plus BNM. The matrix vector product is the product of a matrix and a vector, and it's the same as the dot product of a row of the matrix and the vector B as shown here. So the vector AB is a linear dependent combination of the matrix A column vectors a star one with coefficients b sub i. So as we have here, we have the column vectors a one star, a two star, and so on, in a dot product with b. And we can also write that as a summation of a star k, b k. So there's a way to represent this in terms of the rows as well as the columns of the A matrix. So here's an example of what this looks like. I have A, B, and I have highlighted the rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if the B vector is 1, 0, 1 with the dot product, I can write that as now a column result 4, 10, 16, which also represents A1 star dot with the B vector, A2 star in a dot product with the B vector, or A3 star in a dot product with the B vector. I could also represent this as each of the columns, 147 times the first element of B, 258 as the, times the second column element of B, and 361 times the last element of B. And when I add that together, I get 4, 10, 16, or the summation of K, which is A star K, B K. You can also show this as a product if you add them together as shown in this diagram. If the column vectors of A represent a reference system, then the product AB computes the global transformation 
of the vector B according to column vectors A star one. Matrix multiplication. In order to do matrix multiplication, you must have the columns of the first matrix be equivalent to the rows of the second matrix, and then each element becomes a dot product. So it's the dot product of row and column vectors for each of the matrices, and it can also be defined as the linear combination of the columns of A scaled by the coefficients of the columns of B. So the first element would be A1 star in a dot product with B star one, and so on. And finally, matrix multiplication is also the transformation of B's columns through matrix A. Let's look at an example. C equals AB, where the first column would be AB star one, the second column would be AB star two, and so on. So if we have a matrix one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is matrix A, multiply by matrix B, one, negative one, zero, zero, negative one, one, then I can write that as the first column would be A times one, zero, negative one, which is the first column vector for B. And the second column would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, times the second column vector of B, which is negative one, zero, one. And the result would be two columns. So I have a three by three times a three by two matrix, which becomes a three by two matrix, where the first column is negative two, negative two, negative two, and the second column is two, two, two. So this concludes today's lecture on a linear algebra review of matrices to help us with our advanced mobile robotics class. Please come back for more and have a robotastic day.